So Shell, the British multinational oil and gas company, recently had their annual general meeting on Tuesday, the 21st of May, 2024, in London. And one of our sister by the name Michaela Loach, who is a climate justice activist, made an appearance at this meeting where she called out the CEO of Shell for the crimes that they are committing and have been committing for years now in the Niger Delta. Check it out. Your two days minutes. of profiting said one from to our two destroying minutes. our lives are numbered. You're going yes. to be asked to leave the order. I, I, security, leave, leave it for a minute. On account of your fossil fuel production in the Niger Delta in Nigeria, the life expectancy there is currently only between 41 and 46 years of age. That's younger than most of the people in this room today. How can you be comfortable profiting from limiting the lives of millions of people? The money that lines your pockets and allows you to comfortably grow old prevents that same dignity for people in the Niger Delta. In the 70 years where you made stupendous profits for your shareholders, you transformed the Niger Delta into the most polluted place on earth, and its people among the poorest and most poisoned. In that period, your company has been complicit in flaring gas non-stop at 178 flare points all over the Niger Delta, emitting millions of tons of CO2 yearly and poisoning over 40 million people with cancer and other respiratory illnesses. Several reputable studies have established that methane, carbon dioxide, and other chemicals from flared gas poison people with cancer, respiratory illnesses, birth defects, and diseases of the skin. When it rains, it po the poisonous chemicals in the atmosphere return to further pollute the soil and rivers, reducing farm fertility and killing fishes. Several scientific reports, including those from the United Nations Environment Programme, have been published, all of them indicting you for massive pollution and poisoning. They have confirmed that your activities have led directly to major health risks and livelihood losses. This is not speculation, these are facts. But it feels important now to share a human story. Our friend's only water source, a hand-dug well, has produced nothing but crude oil for three years. In one year alone, our friend unexpectedly lost his sister, his father, and his baby niece. Up until now, Shell has refused to accept that its ruptured pipe is the source of the pollution that has contaminated the drinking water of the entire community. I, I'm sorry, could you maybe ask a question? I'm, I'm, it's, it's... Uh, I, I'm, you, you've, I said one to two minutes. I've already given you uh, no, three no, or four. I... Sorry, could you ask a question? Thank you, thank you. Um, heartbreakingly, this is the reality for countless families as a result of your pollution. Who will fix the health of millions of people you have poisoned? For years, you have pushed back against the legal case from the Agale and Bilay communities, against you for your decades and decades of pollution. The Agale and Bilay communities are many of hundreds of communities whose livelihoods have been devastated by Shell and who are now suing Shell this year in the UK courts for a violation of their, health and to, for their right to health and a clean environment. It's convenient that this case coincides with you selling off your onshore oil assets to shadow consortiums that were conveniently only set up recently. Now that the case can be heard in the UK courts, we know that you are rushing to sell off your assets um, to avoid accountability. You're attempting to walk away from seven decades of reckless oil extraction and its attendant ecological health and livelihood impacts. As you always have, you're attempting to avoid justice and reparations. Okay, okay. we've got your we question. Will I'm, you I'm going to ask the, I'm You will not get away CEO, with the destruction of I'm our communities. People across the world no. are rising up against the Delta and against Shell. I, I said one to your two minutes. Your days of profiting I said one from our two destroying minutes. our lives are numbered. You're going yes. to be asked to leave the order. I, I've, I've, yeah. Of course, they're trying to shut her up because they don't like what she's saying. That's what's happening here. She's calling them out for their wickedness and they don't like it. They don't want to hear it. They don't care. They don't care about the lives of the people down here. For those of you who don't know, I'm Nigerian and I am actually from the Niger Delta. It's crazy. Like people cannot even begin to imagine. I'm trying to not get emotional in this video. People cannot begin to imagine if you are not in the niger delta how many lives have been damaged people can't farm people can't fish i've never been to port Harcourt, but I've, I've heard from someone who lives in port Harcourt that it's so bad in port Harcourt if you go outside for like 10 minutes the color of your clothes starts to change 
and if you rub on your skin like this you can you can literally see like the dark dust in your hands that's what it's like for people in Port Harcourt and people are breathing in these things pollution is insane but of course they don't want to hear it they don't care because for real they don't see us as people it's black lives it doesn't matter right and i don't even want to talk about our government at this point because we don't have any i keep saying it let's not talk about those people they are non-existent the same group of people those bloody puppets who let these people come in because they are giving them some coins and they and their family can go live somewhere else that is safer or hell just leave the country totally they don't even have to be here of course those people don't care about they are puppets so i don't even talk about those people and bring them up in conversations i blame them yes but to say oh what are they doing they are not doing anything absolutely nothing and as much as yes we have got to hold shell accountable for what they are doing we have to hold those so-called leaders of ours who let them come in and remain here who have not used broom tape or should them come out since yes we have to hold those ones accountable too because they too are playing a major role in the destruction of our lives you're going yes. to be asked to leave the order I, I've, I've heard your question please. other people have had more time than me to Can you ask please questions? go this way please Thank you. Okay, just leave, leave, it for a leave it for a minute security leave, leave it for a minute Leave, it, it, leave her for a minute. No, no. Leave her. Please leave her for a minute. Leave her for a minute. Could, could you maybe turn and face the? If, could you come? Could you face the people who you're asking the question? Yes, I can. And, and I, I, I think you've asked your question. I haven't asked my question. My question is: Who will clean up nearly 70 years worth of oil spills and gas flaring in the Niger Delta? Who will fix the health of indigenous people? Who will? Res who will restore their livelihood? Okay, thank you. I just want you to know that your days of profiting off our lives are numbered. Uh, right. Okay. And we will end your, your profits. We will end your company. You do not deserve to continue profiting from us. And that's all of the clip that she posted to her TikTok. And um, I'm not even going to wonder what their response was. Because I know they certainly did not say anything that is going to give the idea that they care. Or that they're actually going to do anything about what they're doing or make some positive changes and actually start caring about the human beings that exist here because they never did care and they never would care all these people care about is money and reaching their own profits and exploiting people so for those of us who are just hearing for the first time yes shell is being taken to court and they are going to be made to face constitutional claims for violating the right to a clean environment right um, on November 22, 2023, the United Kingdom High Court found that 13,000 Nigerian fishermen and farmers from the Ogale and Bile communities in the Niger Delta can bring landmark human rights claim against Shell for breaches of the community's rights to a clean environment. Shell, a British Dutch company, first began extracting oil from the biodiverse Niger Delta in the late 1950s under a joint venture it established with the Nigerian government just four years before Nigeria gained independence from Great Britain. Now, decades later, Nigerians from the Ogali and Bile communities are asserting their rights under both the Nigerian constitution and the African charter in courts in the United Kingdom. While there have been previous cases in Nigerian courts, affected communities have maintained that Shell has long held strong influence in Nigerian courts, making it difficult to obtain justice in Nigeria. So right here now, we're talking about, you know, their influence, right, and the fact that they have money and they can use that to sway the courts to their advantage. Again, which brings me to the accountability that we have got to start taking as a people. This is basically sellout behavior that you take money from a group of people and turn your backs to your own people that's crazy i would never get the cones that we have like i, I would never understand these people I, I i don't know how they do it i i just don't know how they do it how like how do you even sleep at night how how do you sleep at night
and the way these things are affecting people's health is insane it's not only affecting the people who are alive right now it's affecting even children that are yet to be born because kids are getting born with deformities like with defects right and it's pretty similar to what's going on in the congo the same thing they are saying there because of all the insanity going on there all the wickedness going on there the congolese people are now being exposed to these resources in ways that they are not, not supposed to be exposed to and it's now affecting them biologically to the point where children are getting born with defects like it's just crazy how as a people we just can't have a break and seeing how we don't have leaders it's up to us now the everyday people to fight for ourselves and to fight for our brothers and sisters and to fight for and to fight for our continent so let's continue doing what we can do let's share this video to spread more awareness as to what exactly is going on and let's keep up the good work that we are doing in our little ways let's not get tired let's not relent you know like i keep saying every time is the little droplets of water that fills the cup so let's keep bringing in our drops here and there and eventually this cup is going to get filled and we're going to get ourselves free and get ourselves to that point that we are supposed to be as a people i'm going to be leaving it here please do share this video let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are and of course as always i would see you guys in the next one